Hello, welcome, I'm Ellie and I have got something that is not Lego to look at today. This is here in Australia. If you live in Australia, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't, you have no idea. It'll just be like random stuff. But we've got a grocery store called Woolworths and they do promotional like collectible things every now and then. And this time around, if you spend $30, you get a free one of these things, Woolworths bricks for free. <laughs> and apparently if you have like a whole lot of them, you can actually make your own Woolworths, like your own grocery store. So, you know, free and bricks. I was totally in there. So I went and did some shopping at Woolies. And these are not, of course, not going to be like Lego. It says compatible with other brands, but nothing is ever as, you know, finely machined as Lego. But let's have a look what we've got in here. Rip it open and find out what's in the first of these bags. So we have some stickers we can apply, which are actually products. So this is definitely product placement happening here. Got some some muesli bars and some waters and stuff. This is the, okay, instructions. This is an aisle shelf and okay, I'm pretty sure I can follow those instructions. Or can I? Here we go, we see. So we've got a very scanty amount of bricks in here to make our aisle shelf. These are, oh, they got little hearts as the holes underneath. They're so cute. So apparently we put two of these on and then we're supposed to put, ew, a sticker over. They don't actually go together very well. Uh, so sticker's supposed to go across two of those bricks. I'm not very keen on that. So they kind of will look like they're on the shelves, but they won't. Uh, you're right. So there's one. Let's make up the second, the top shelf. And well, now the bottom shelf. So I don't know. I don't like the fact, like the thought of putting the stickers over two bricks, because then you can't. Then if you take the bricks apart, you just rip the stickers. I'm going to leave that for a moment, see if I can find a solution to this or whether I just have to go ahead. Let's open the next one up. What does it feel like? Feels like more bricks. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm feeling it. <laughs> it's not going to make any difference. So in here is, it says deli. The sticker, this is some deli. It's a deli. It's some deli products. So some Devon and processed meats perhaps, or just, you know, sliced salami, which is also processed meats. So we've got this bit here. And then we get this bit, this display thing. So where's that, where are the stickers supposed to go? So I suppose logic tells me that the ham bit's supposed to go on the bottom. So a nice big leg of lamb and some sliced ham, I think, <laughs> laid out there on some green, some token green. And we'll put the deli sign on the back. Yeah, that is not straight, but it will do. And then we put this on here as the display window. These do not go together very nicely, but they'll do the job. And yeah, okay, so that's open at the back for the sneezers to get in, which is totally food safe and sanitary. Nice, okay, so we've got a deli, we've got an aisle shelf. What have we got in the next package? Actually, I was really lucky. I did not spend anywhere nearly enough money to get all of these. The lady who's on the checkout just gave me a big handful. I love it when that happens. It doesn't often happen. So what is this? This is another shelf. Definitely, we've got a special sign, a yellow spot special. So what do we call it? Yellow dot special. <laughs> I can't remember. So yeah, definitely an uh, an aisle end maybe. What is what does that say? Aisle end. Yes. So these are going on the end of the aisle. What do we do with all these stickers? There's too many stickers. I'm gonna just bite the bullet and put these stickers on here. So we got some some tomato paste sauce stuff, and then uh, what will we put up on the next? I mean, can we? Is it just that we can choose? what we want to put on here. So we'll put our special sign up here. <laughs> There's actually nothing actually on the shelf for the special. But where do I put the other stickers? Can I put them on the back? Oh no. Let me just bite the bullet and yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing all the bullet biting. Let's put this, let's just do it. Let's put them together the way they're supposed to go. So maybe I'll put, uh, yeah, I'll put the, the cappuccino sachets blah, down here and uh, t uh yeah twinings tea so i'm happy with this i'll put this one i like i like some fruit flavored teas i'll pop them on the top shelf and then they go like that yeah okay and can i just put the other stickers for the aisle should be you're not gonna be able to see them so there's some bread on the top and then for the bottom, some batteries, because I can never find batteries when I'm looking for them. So they're always definitely hiding down the bottom behind the aisle shelf, obviously. That's why I can't find them. Oh, look, I got a little person. Let's see what a, what a Woolworths style minifigure looks like. Oh, that's so cute. Actually, that clips in really nicely. It feels kind of metallic-y. So one arm on, I oh, know it's not, it's, it's, it's plastic. Actually, the packaging tells you that the, all of these are made from at least 80% recycled products, which is really, really cool. 
that's good because people get really annoyed about these collectibles being made out of plastic and just getting chucked away. So we've got a sticker just for green <laughs> to go on the back. Well, that's useless. And for the front, we have a sticker which, oh, this is a Woolies employee. Actually, she might, I think the the, the, yeah, that says she's a manager. So she, she's our manager. She looks ready to make sure those shelves are stocked. Good on you. Check on that. Make sure that there's enough tea for me. Don't, no, you're not supposed to. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not your managerial training is not to stand on the shelving. But yeah, you know, you would if you could. You would. Don't tell me you would not. So let's see what we've got in our next package here. We got, uh... It's a door. It's a mm, bit of yeah. It's a, mm. <laughs> it's, a mm. it's a fridge. A fridge because it says fridge, so that that's a very clear giveaway that that's what we've got here. There's some eggs. This is one big sticker. So let's see if I can get this on straightish. Got some eggs at the top and some tasty cheese down the bottom. Woolies brand tasty cheese. Uh, yeah, okay, that's that's a, that's a fridge. So this fridge sign goes on the outside just in case we were confused as to whether this was a fridge or not. It is. It definitely is a fridge, guys. Now, where do we... I think I need to buy... <laughs> there are starter packs for this. I think I need to buy one to actually put these onto something. I could just use an existing Lego base plate, but, you know, let's just use all the woolly stuff and see how it goes. So what do we got in here? It is... They are... Solar panels! Oh, cool! Okay! Solar panels. That will help uh, run our fridge. So we got one big solar panel here. Another one I do not know... I mean, where am I going to put these if I don't have a building? I definitely, oh, it's a bit of a scam. I definitely have to buy the starter pack to make this into a shop because you only get the bits that go in it. You don't get the actual shop unless you buy one of the starter packs. Oh, that's right. They're not terribly expensive. So this is the last one out of my, out of my haul. <laughs> this is a seafood, oh, fish, seafood, well, the prawns there too. So it's not just fish. The sign's a liar! It's not just fish, it's seafood! Ah, uh, alright, so we're going to put these, these are going to go in the deli section, in the cold section, so it's put together the same way as the other one, and yeah, okay, alright, so we got, we got deli, we got fish, seafood, should be seafood, but let's, uh, let's cut to a week in the future. Ta-da! Here we are, we are now a week in the future, and I have been to Woolies, several times and I've bought a starter pack basic because I was not ponying up for the extra four dollars for a deluxe set so this one's six dollars has a massive base plate and uh yeah a whole heap of things that we need to actually put our shop onto so let's find out how that goes and I also have got <laughs> I bribed my family members and extended family and friends and neighbors and got them to give me all of their packs <laughs> thank you thank you to everybody so let's open them on here and see if we can put together a shop uh, a Woolies well, shop. All right, <laughs> so let's open up our starter bricks, starter pack basic. Get into here. We got a rip cord here, and it's not a rip cord. You know, rip cardboard. It's a rip cardboard, and got a yeah bag full of bricks and instru. Oh, that gives you your collector sheet too. So you don't even get a collector sheet if you don't get the yeah, if you don't get one of the one of the starter packs so here we go we have got quite a massive baseboard got our stickers stickers woolly stickers <gasps> and a community notice board which is <laughs> it is conspicuously empty and there are all our bits that we can actually be collecting well, i don't know that i'm gonna go so nuts as to try and get them all i'd like to get a trolley though there's a trolley there's a little trolley i'd like a trolley okay let's put this together Let's, let's see what sort of kind of Woolies facade we have. So we need to put these together and then, I hate these sort of instructions. So the grayed out bit is the bit that we've already done. So I'm pretty sure with my significant Lego experience that I can put together this wall, though you know what, I, now that I've said that and, and been, all, been all cocky and everything, <laughs> luckily to get it wrong. So we need two of these walls and oh, just throwing bits around and then we put together yeah, two of the walls, alternating the fours and the twos. Then we put together some doors and they have to alternate as well. Not that we ever have these sort of opening doors at Woolies. They're always slidey opening doors. So they're lies. The doors are lies. Let's put them on our baseboard. So we got wall here, got a door here, another door here, some more wall here, another door here so the in and the outdoors and now i've done oh, hold on the instructions i've done it wrong so there is a long side and a short side for this baseboard so let's get this not square i don't know why i thought it was square 
<laughs> I didn't look at it very hard. So over here now we have to build up some more wall and then we have a front wall. If you get the deluxe pack you get another wall too I think. You get a side wall. It's a, you know, bit more wall, bit more substantial, bit more deluxe. So now we've got our front wall and we put these bits up here and then we have some awning overhanging all the way along to the end. Yeah, ish. And then we have a sign up over the what's probably the entrance door. I don't know that that's around the right way. I think it's, <laughs> these are really hard to get on and off. <laughs> hard to seat them. Uh, yeah, okay, so, and we've got a couple of other signs that I'll put on later. So let's put our stickers on. Big Woolworths are fresh food people. I mean, it's not like this whole promotional thing isn't just an advertisement for Woolies, but it's cool to be able to build Woolies. Uh, stickers going over multiple bricks here on the front entryway. Meet the team. And over on this one, is a very familiar sign direct to boot parking where's the parking we'll put that on at least put it on straight that would be handy there we go okay and oh we got more stickers for the inside so inside here we have australian sourced thingamy bobbly sourcing policy and this is a community notice board with no actual with only empty <laughs> empty promises from the community so sad and there's nothing in the middle why have we got nothing but you know what we do need we need one of those stickers uh, we need one of those we need a QR code to be signing in because we would be totally signing in that's why I look for I don't notice any of the rest of these signs I need a QR code so let's find out where am I gonna put these out actually no I've, I've put these together incorrectly so they're actually supposed to be centered and that way we put the stickers on the other side so our so our aisle shelves are fully stocked on both sides so we got our Carmen's Music Bars on that side and some sparkling mineral water on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so I have a scanty amount of stuff actually happening in here. Let's just put our solar panels somewhere random and put our fridge over here. And I could really do with a checkout. And we do have <laughs> fish and deli and a couple of signs that I have yet to decide when I'm going to put on them yet, depending upon what I get in these other packages. So we'll find out then <laughs> what we're going to do. We could put them, yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. So let's have a bit of these up. Let's see what else we get. We got some more solar panels. Well, that's useless we don't have anything to actually run them you know we don't need to run more solar panels oh this is different good okay so we got fruit and vegetables a fruit and vegetable display we got broccoli on the bottom and on the top are uh, some strawberries which never come packaged like that because then they'd all get bruised and we could use this sign i think we will yeah decide to put a fruit sign on here fruit and veg because that's so cute and it's the same color scheme so Perfect. What else? What do we got next? Another deli? No, it's a different one. So this is some chicken. Some chicken for our deli. So we'll set these up. Put our chicken on the bottom. I wonder if this is, is this the, no, this isn't the cooked chicken. This isn't the roasted chicken section. This is the raw chicken section. Mmm, sounds so appetizing. Put our display window on the front. Uh, we'll, we'll just store them all here and we'll set it all up when we've opened everything up. What's this? Oh, it's a recycling bin. Oh, this is the bin that you bring back if you have any uh, plastic bags you want to bring back to be recycled. I did not put that on straight. This is the bin that you put in the back and shove them into and then they get recycled. So we'll put these stickers on reasonably straight. I don't even know where this sits. Is it at the front of the store? I'll have to have a look in the instructions. Uh, and some more solar panels. Let's move them to the side because we don't need more solar panels at the moment. More fruit and veg. Oh, different fruit and veg. Yay! We've got some onions. Some onions. Onions and some uh, avocados. Oh, very nice. We can buy the avocados instead of buying ourselves a house deposit. Right, we got what else? Ooh, oh, a checkout. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> I was worried we we're going to have all of this shop and no checkout. So, how does this go together? So, this bit goes on here. I don't know if that bit actually. I don't know if that faces the checkout person or the customer. We got some nice veggies going through there. And this is some advertising stuff on the front. And then this goes under there, apparently, according to the instructions. Okay, what next? Yay, yay, another aisle. Another aisle shelf, and it's a different aisle shelf. So we've got some different produce. No, it's not produce on these, products on these. So some bread. So it's weird looking. And then on the top, some more water. Wow, we've got, we're stocked, we're all stocked up with bottled water because we really need that to survive. And some macro something or other and some popcorn. Okay, nice. 
<laughs> Good. We got another another checkout. Oh, two checkouts. That's so perfect. And they're two different checkouts because... Let's put this sticker on here, but then we'll have a look what's actually being checked out. It's different to the other one. This one's got broccoli, apple. The other one's got apple and carrots. <gasps> So good, and a different bit on the front. Wow, two different checkouts, that's really lucky. Uh, Heather, I would have totally put duplicate checkouts in. More fish? Yeah, more seafood, blah, bye. We've already got you, let's get some more, is it more? More fruit and vegetables, but different fruit and vegetables. I love the fact that I'm getting a lot of fruit and vegetables, it's really cool. So carrots on the bottom, some apples on the top, and these are, oh, these are some of the odd bunch, which are the fruit and vegetables that don't, you know, quite look perfect, but they still taste perfectly fine and they should be sold. Uh, got the, yeah, we've got this one. We've got broccoli and strawberries already. This one, though, we don't have my favorite deli section, the cheese counter. Let's see. What have we got? Well, we got cheese and we've got, oh, no sort of specialty cheese. We've got cheese and yeah, all right. So we got cheese, nice. And in this one, another little dude, customer. This one's a customer. Oh, well, you know, pretty much we, I'll put his legs on backwards. Hold on, I'm gonna need to, yeah. I'm gonna need to do this off camera, hold on. <laughs> Provide a bit of brute force and let's put these legs on the correct way because, oh, you know, I'd be just as likely to put them on the wrong way twice because that's how I roll things, arms on the wrong spot, yep. Arms are on and he has no hair, he just has a cap. And we put on this sticker for the front and got a little bit of little bit of skin color there. And on the back we have the completely <laughs> pointless blue sticker to go on the back. Ah, oh, okay, customer, that's really cute. Oh, what a, I need a hand basket. I didn't get a hand basket, I didn't get a trolley. So that's okay. We've got enough stuff to set this up. I've put these deli bits together incorrectly. They're supposed to be centered. I don't know why I thought everything was supposed to go right at the back of all of these little plates. Obviously, I can't follow instructions very well. Let's choose some of these, maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, just meat. We'll put meat on there, and we can put the meat on top of the deli and the, and the chicken. Yeah, the deli meats and the chicken, that'll do okay. Actually, we didn't get any actual meats, did we? All right, let, let's put stuff in. So we have got our recycling has yeah recycling bin here underneath the community notice board. I'm going to try and put my yeah put my checkouts in first so I can that doesn't fit. That's is that right? Is that supposed to go around the other way? Is it supposed to go? No, that's not going to fit either. That little angle bracket underneath the grey bit means that it does not fit. There's a bit of a design flaw there, but. You know, you get what you pay for, which is free. It was free. So we have two checkouts now. I love my two checkouts, this is so cute. <laughs> We've got one fridge, we could do with more fridges, but that's okay, our solar panel's doing a nice job of uh, supporting, supporting the coldness of our fridge. Putting the aisles, I've only got one, two, two like normal aisles and one end aisle. How am I gonna configure these so that it doesn't look too empty here? Because we have got a lot of packages, but we've also got a lot of shop to fill. So maybe I'll just make, uh, maybe I will just make one long aisle and the aisle end there, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do that. And we can put then, I mean, this is not how a Woolies is set up, but I'm just kind of setting it up however I like because, you know, I don't have all of the things. Plus it's my Woolies, I can do with it how I want. What, what I want, what are you can do with it? I don't even know what I'm saying now. So we've got, a, we've got fruits and veg over there, nice and kind of squished in together. Putting our deli section over here. Oh, where's my ice cream? Where are the ice cream things? Like the long ice cream fridges. I'm missing so much stuff, but that's pretty cute. I did have to have a lot of packages just to get this amount. Yeah, this amount of, of, of shop fitting. Anyway, this was fun. I don't know that I'm gonna fit this out anymore. Probably not on video anyway. <laughs> we'll have to give this to somebody who's trying to collect these because I don't want them to get mixed up with my Lego bricks because I'm a bit of a Lego snob like that. So yeah, okay, that was fun though. I would love Lego to make a proper supermarket though. How cool would that be? Can we do that? Like a proper nicely big equipped modular one? That would be awesome. Let's do that. Do that Lego, do it now. Or maybe, you know, for next year, that'd be cool, right? <laughs> I'll see you with another video really, really soon. <laughs> I'll stop ranting. See ya, bye.